Okay, this is a quick tip for Linux users, um, both beginners and maybe more advanced. When I first started using Linux, which was probably uh, nine, ten years ago, uh, one of the things I really liked about it was if an application was frozen, you can use a program called Xkill to kill that application by clicking it. Uh, and it used to be pretty standard, I think it was a shortcut of Control K or something like that would run Xkill. It seems like the shortcut key for that, if I remember it correctly, has been kind of phased out, but the application is still there. It's part of the uh, Xorg package, so if you have a X display running on your system, which is most Linux systems, uh, then this program is installed. You just need to get it running. So let's go ahead and pretend like this shell right here is frozen up. The shells don't usually freeze up, but pretend that it's something that's frozen. Um, what you can do is in another shell, type in X kill, and you see my cursor here. When I hit enter, it turns to an X. In some uh, Windows envir uh, window environments, it will look like a skull and crossbone, which is a bit cooler but that's not how my particular system's set up. And at this point, the next window you click will be killed. So it just kills it, even if it's frozen. It's a great little application. You can still create a shortcut for it, depending on your desktop environment and how you create shortcut keys. You just create a shortcut key for xkill. Uh, so you can type it in the terminal there. Uh, you can also use the Alt F2 to bring up your run application and type in uh, xkill. And then again, the next window you click it closes it and of course you know you can always kill things from the shell by using kill kill all or something like htop but it's nice to be able to click especially if you have multiple windows uh, of the same program and you're not sure which one is the one you have to figure out the process ID or kill them all X kill will allow you to just quickly click and kill so alt F2 X kill and click or create a shortcut to run xkill. And if you do uh, run xkill and you decide, oh, I don't want to kill anything, it unfroze or something, just, um, I'm not really sure what to do. I thought escape got you out of it. And if I click my desktop, it's probably gonna kill my desktop. Yep, <laughs> there we go, it killed my desktop and restarted it. I have to look into that. I thought the escape stopped X kill. It killed X kill, but apparently not. Um, and you definitely want to. So make sure you you want to kill something before you run it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. It helps me so much. Uh, I have supporters that support me financially on Patreon. You can think about doing that. But if you don't support me financially, liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting help boost my views, and that just helps me a great deal. So thanks for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.